right, there we are in our E chord shape. Now we're gonna move up to our flat three. We're using that A chord shape there. C chord shape. Back to the E chord shape. A chord shape. C chord shape. E chord shape. Let's try double stops this time. A shape, C shape, back to the E shape, up to the A shape again, C shape, E shape. All right, now let's put it all together. So you can see that that's a little trickier. Try to get all those things linked together um, when you're jumping out of position like that. But 
it is kind of fun, and it does kind of make for a more interesting sound. Uh, having that flat three in there um, kind of gives the whole progression a little bit more of a bluesy sound. Um, try it in other positions on the neck. Um, and like I said before, instead of viewing this A chord within the E shape, maybe try doing it up here at the uh, ninth fret and having um, all of your licks come out of that C shape. You know, see where that takes you. Um, all right, let's move on to our last instrumental study now. <laughs> 